what, honey? Guess what we're having for dinner? What's that? Top ramen. Oh, good. I'm hungry. Five minutes till it's done. Okay, cool. Gotta go help Mom. Bye. All right, see you in a bit. What you doing there, Mike? I am chopping some green onions. What for? For our Mongolian barbecue with top ramen. Woo! My mom makes a killer yes, Mongolian man. barbecue. I'm calling in the Hey, YouTube friends and family. We're having top ramen for supper. Just thought we'd share it with you. As you can see, we're cooking our top ramen noodles. Each package, they say, you just drop into boiling water and you let it cook. I think the cooking time on it, what is it, Dave? Two to three minutes? Yeah, about that. Two to three minutes. As you can see, ours are getting done here. And we're not going to add these little packets that come with them. Okay, David's letting me know if I'm in camera here. We're not going to use those packets. We're throwing those to the side and those will go in our food storage because you never know. I'll be back. Hey YouTube friends and family. I took the noodles off when they were about three quarters of the way done. As you can see, they're not exactly the way top ramen is supposed to be. If you look in the center, you can see a little white dot. That says your noodle isn't all the way done. Now I'm rinsing them to cool them off so that they'll stop cooking. Once they've drained really well, I'm going to drizzle just a little tiny bit of oil over the top of them. Now that can be vegetable oil or it can be any oil of your choice really. But I choose vegetable because when you're working with heat your olive oils will burn and start smoking. And I'm going to be working with more heat than usual. I'll be back in just a few. You know my mom is really good at pitch, pinching the penny and buying things that will help us save. This 12 pack of Top Ramen right here, we're using one just the same for the, ram, the Top Ramen we're making right now. Cost only $2.21. 22 cents. 22 cents. For the whole case. For this whole thing. She, I'm not sure what the word frugal means, but I'm going to put this in the way I understand it. My mom likes to save money for important things, so she buys things that are really cheap, yet gives us a good meal and a healthy dinner. And we'll be back. Frugal. Not wasteful. Not spending freely or unnecessarily. Thrifty, economical. Not costly or luxurious. Inexpensive or meager. That's the meaning of frugal. Thank you for that insightful Thank you. tip. So does that describe me? Yes, All it right. does. You're not cheap. Hey YouTube friends and family, we're back. I'm going to turn my round skillet up to my favorite number, which is... What is it, guys? Seven? No. Uh, six. It's six. I'm going to do that first. Michael, could you get me some cooking oil, please? Pour some in a little cup and bring it over. To get ready for this, we cooked our top ramen, and we cooled it, and we oiled it, which you can't see because it's under this ledge here, under the microwave, but that's okay. Then we prepared some barbecued beef. I mean barbecued pork. This you can buy in the stores just about anywhere guys. 
and it's not expensive at all. It has a really good flavor. Orientals use it a lot with their pork and seeds. And this is the brand that we buy. It's not expensive. We used half and it cost seven dollars and three oops seven dollars and eighty three cents so say eight eight dollars we used half so we're using four dollars worth of meat now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna drizzle just a little oil not a lot on our pan the pans heating and I'm going to drop little bits of vegetables we've got carrots we used what do you say we used in carrots Mike uh, three big ones three large carrots or six small or six small good we've got green onions as you can see I'm putting these on the edge of our um, pan here so we've got peas, we've got carrots, and we also have got dehydrated garlic, which we like the, the liquid there, so we're just going to put a little bit of garlic and drizzle some of the liquid. I also I'm going to add sesame seeds when it's time, but not right yet. For two of the adults, we're also putting pepper flakes in because we like ours a little bit spicy. I'm one of those. Now we hear the sizzle. We grab a good handful of our top ramen and we set it down in the pan. Friends, I've made this recipe, never had anybody not like it. For people that cannot have a lot of soy sauce, you can make your own sauces and uh, find that you can cut back on the sodium. Now we mixed our sauces. What we mixed was hoisin sauce, hoisin sauce. I used three tablespoons in this. I used two tablespoons of orange uh, Asian glaze. It's a stir fry, but it's gluten free and it's an orange sauce and it really has a great flavor. And then we used, where's the other one we used? You already put it away. We also used two tablespoons of sesame ginger. And we added it to how many, how much water did you? Six cups. Uh, five cups. Five cups of water. Two and a half pints. Now these are sizzling and we're going to drizzle our fluid on top. Mm, that smells good. It does, doesn't it? And we're going to start mixing everything up and letting it cook here. As I said, the noodles were not done cooking, and this is why. Because we knew that we would be doing more cooking. Could you get me a fork, please? Thank you, son. Okay, and we're going to make room here and throw some of our pork over to the side. I'm going to continue letting this heat up and we will be right back. Okay friends, 
We've added half a tablespoon of hoisin to this and we're going to start mixing it up with the juices that we've got left in our pan. Can you get a serving plate please Michael? Okay, I'll need it in a few minutes. Mm. I'll need it in a few minutes. It's going to be delicious. It is good, isn't it? Mm -hmm. We're sister. She's oh. in the room with Pepper. Oh, does she know what we're doing? Yeah. Does she? You might tell her we've started. As you can see, guys, it's starting to pick up the color that we want. And these are one and two servings at a time, depending on who we're cooking for here. Man, I wish they could smell this. Oh, I know it. Uh, it smells like you're in a Chinese restaurant. Well, you know, one of our favorite outings when we used to go out to eat which has been, what guys, so long ago. Three, four years. Oh, it's been longer than that. I wish we could go But out. we used to go out and we'd go to Mo Mongolian barbecue. It was one of our favorite places. And uh, we can't do that anymore, so we decided. I was sitting here one day and I thought, why can't I just make it at home? And that's what we're doing. How you doing, sister? I'm doing good. I hope you were recording. I heard that you were recording, but Michael told me, so I decided to come out. Well, I'm glad you did. I was missing you. I was too, missing you. Does it look like we got everything in it, sis? Yeah, except the, well, I think it needs a little more onions. Little more onions? Yeah. Maybe a pinch more? Oh, awesome, Seth. I Seth. like green onions. Even though regular onions you might think I don't like, but I like green ones. Too. Oh, yeah. Now, can you sprinkle us just a little tiny bit of sesame seed? Oh, well, just a little bit though there. I have yeah, you don't want too there. many. Just, just the right amount. Now, friends, you can see it's starting to stick to the pan, and that's what we're looking for. We want these liquids cooked out. If you've ever been to Mongolian barbecue, how about this, Mom? you know how they flip it around and spread it, picking up the vegetables and the flavor as they go. Hey, Mom, how about this much? That's good. You want to put that all over? Oh, I love sesame seeds, don't you? Yeah, that's so really good. There's a nice flavor, but it's kind of hard to chew them. Oh, yeah. Uh, friends, you can pick any vegetables you want for this. You really can. Well, Mom, look at that. A minute ago, that was a little bit full of the juice. Now look at it. Boy, isn't that the truth. You know, Mom, now we turn our heat wait, down. Wait. You know, I think it needs a little more red meat. A little more red meat? Don't you think? Oh, I put quite a bit in, lovey. It's, a, it's good. I think it'll be fine. Yeah, me too. Okay, After Michael, all... can you bring your plate, please? Yummy. Yummy, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Dave, are you enjoying this, watching? I don't have any fancy utensils, guys. Get it over here, please. Thank you. So we make do with what we have. I did have, I, I had everything that a restaurant would need when I had my bistro, but due to my husband's stroke and loss of job and financial difficulties, we lost our storage. And that was all the equipment that we had, but you know what they say, when one door closes, another one opens. And here I am doing the same thing, but at home. How's that looking, guys? Great. 
Now we're going to have to have Michael test this. We've turned our stove off purposely because we rinse it each time. Here you go, Michael. We kind of have to. So, well, I don't really know why. Mom just said that, so I'm going with what she said. Oh, well, I'm not always right, you know. Can you get down, please? Sure. Michael, can you bring your plate over That's here? I'm going to sit and rest my back a second. You guys know I've got a very bad back. Mm. See all those beautiful colors? All that yummy goodness? Well, what we want to know is how it tastes. I'm going to get some water. Delicious. I feel like I'm at Mongolian barbecue. Jade, can you everything. come and taste this, honey? Oh, sure. Can she have a sample? And David, would you like to give a try there? I would love to. I guess. JD, it's very, very hot, sweetheart. So blow on it good. <laughs> you didn't get any vegetables, sister. Let me get some meat. All I like is the meat. <laughs> That's not a vegetable. You like it all, Jade. You also? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> mm. Mike, this is mine. <laughs> no, no more. Mom. So there we have it, friends. There we have it, friends and family. Now I have seven people to feed. One's been served. And the next order will cover two people. So I'll be here cooking for a while. I just wanted to share this recipe with you. Trust me when I tell you, it is really awesome. It's a good recipe. You can add anything to you that you want to it. And with the exception of one person, we don't even use the extra soy sauce, but there is one person in our house that will want it. And it's not me. It's Grandma. Thanks, guys. From my house to yours, cooking here on Catch you later. A, a quarter budget. Love and hugs from our home to yours. Catch you guys later. So, Dad, how was the noodles? Never had better. What about you, Uncle Obi? Very good. Where, Where is very good. my noodles? What do you think of Top Ramen? Where is my noodles? <laughs> It'll be just a minute, Grandma. Well, nobody remembers that I'm the great tester. It'll never make me believe this is Top Ramen. Yeah. Oh, so you guys really look, like oh, it? It so good. Mm -hmm. Yes, it looks good. Personal thoughts, Dad? Will you eat Top Ramen any other way, Dad? Nope. I would just like to eat one once. Well, goodbye. Hey, go fix me one. Hey, YouTube friends, family. This is the last order. And you remember our cabbage from the other night? We've still got it here, and we're going to throw some of that in. Nothing better than a little bit of cabbage. So, last order, and then we'll be back. Excellent dinner, honey. Excellent. Thank you, honey. I'm glad you liked it. Loved it. Hey, YouTube. I've enjoyed sharing this recipe with you. It went over really big, but then it always does. It's something that's very economical. We can buy a whole case of the Top Ramen 12 packs for $2.22. The cost of the meat, as I said, was $4, and you can go less expensive, or you can go total vegetable. 
it's very versatile and very friendly, this recipe is. So, in sharing it with you, I hope you find the joy of trying it and seeing how your family enjoys it. And as you can see, I'm ready to dive in. I have dived in. Grandma has yeah, dived I'm not, in. I'm not waiting on you. <laughs> Me too. And there's JD. And it's really good. Great big hugs and a whole bunch of love from my family to yours. And we'll catch you next time.